that he's just an example of all of this. Uh, we are God's children. We empty our hearts out to one another. We love each other. We pray for one another. And if a brother says, look, I love you. I've offended you. You forgive me. Come to me. Speak to me. We'll pray together. Sister does that. Couldn't do any more fulfilling the word of God than that. That's, that's fulfilling the word of God. And then I'm obligated then, I'm accountable to fulfill my part of that. That I love him and I help him in every way that I can. Uh, that, uh, that, that's just the way it is. Um, I, want to, I want you to know, I want you to know tonight that a, an assembly being built like this is, God's building a Bradenton church anew. This church is an old church in terms of years of it being here. But I can see the Lord building it anew and bringing people in and starting ministries. And ministries are springing up in this church. And uh, they're coming up. And I can see the Lord talking to your hearts. And, and uh, you build a house piece by piece, section to section. And uh, the church here uh, is being built that way. And I urge every one of you, uh, let the Lord, let the Lord fulfill his word in you. Let him use you. And every one of you try to find and say, Lord, let me, help me. And I'll find my way. God will help me. He'll lead me. And let's build this church to the highest level in Christ that it can be built. Because God is a good God to us. We don't have a reason to complain. We have a reason to praise Him. We have a reason to give Him glory and honor. Because if He hasn't answered your prayers, He's going to answer your prayers. You're going to get your prayers in. He will fulfill His word in you. And uh, I'll leave you with this thought in Revelation um, 17, 6th chapter, and chapter 7, verse 1, is right where we are standing right now. You want to know the time you're in? Prophetically where you are? All right, here is where we are. For the great day of his wrath, verse 17, is come. And who shall be able to stand? And after these things, the great day of his wrath being revealed, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel Ascending from the east, that's where the garden is, isn't it? That's where the gate of perfection is. And he cried, and he, he cried, uh, with having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. I'm glad that angel cried, saying, Hurt not the earth, nor the, them, the sea, <coughs> or the tree till we have sealed the servants of God <coughs> excuse me in their foreheads Amen. that's where we are that's where we are the four winds really want to turn loose but there's four angels holding them and they cannot blow until the servants of God are sealed in their forehead the sealing process is right here tonight. Yes, it is. God is working on us, yes. sealing us, getting us ready. Those four angels, they won't let the winds blow and destroy the trees, nor the sea, nor the earth, until the servants of God seal in their foreheads. May the Lord bless you real good, make you go home and rest. You've had a real a large plate of food tonight to consider and uh, I don't like for the church to leave without singing a song of praise and uh, let's do it let's rise up let your body is exercised 
You've been sitting a long time, and I don't know what God would even give one of us to sing. But I know we need to sing a song of praise before we leave here tonight and let the Lord water this word down in our hearts. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise